A trip to Quetico is a very unique experience in today's world. For those of you who do not know what Quetico is, Quetico is a provincial park in Ontario, Canada, just across the border from Minnesota. Established in 1913, it offers over a million acres of pristine wilderness in which you can escape from the modern world. The undisturbed scenery and remoteness of this park draw myself, as well as many others, to this truly unique wilderness. Our journey started in Indiana, traveling through Illinois and Wisconsin on our way to Crane Lake, Minnesota. We then took a boat tow from Anderson Canoe Outfitters from Crane Lake to Campbell's Cabins on Loch LaCroix, traveling over two mechanical portages on the way. We spent a night at Campbell's Cabins and with a fresh start in the morning, took one final boat tow from Campbell's Cabins to Bottle Portage to begin our Quetico adventure. We had a large group of 24 that split into groups of eight for our time in Quetico. This large group created many logistical challenges which were compounded by the high water conditions that mandated last minute changes to our destinations in Quetico. Our group leader, John, has an abundance of Quetico experience and does an amazing job of handling the logistics of these trips. I do want to take a quick second to thank John for all of the time and effort that he puts into planning these trips. Just got to bottle portage, so making the first trip across, a little muddy, but bottle portage is always a little muddy. The bugs aren't too bad, so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that continues. Definitely, uh, can tell <laughs> a little out of breath. Not used to carrying it, but by the, uh, the end of the trip, it'll definitely be better. Definitely be in better shape by the end of the week. This falls is absolutely incredible. I don't know how many of you have actually been here, but there is a lot of water coming over the top of this cliff. A lot more than I've ever seen, that's for sure. It's really, uh, really quite, quite the spectacle. I couldn't imagine uh, going through something like that. So we just got done with our, uh, well, obviously the Curtain Falls Portage, so going to uh, canoe across, canoe across Crooked here real quick. Which it almost looks like it's a little breezy out there. Look out across the lake, I'm sure you can't see it. it looks a little rough. Go so canoe across, uh, canoe across Crooked, and then uh, got one big long portage before we get to Argo. So we're paddling across Crooked now. Just got a little, what do you think about a private mile? Quick little mile paddle across Crooked here, and we got one big portage going into Argo. So I think we're going to come back and stay actually on this uh, island over here most likely on the way back out. So hopefully uh, last time we were on Crooked the fish were biting pretty good, big walleyes. So hoping to spend a little time later in the week. Got a little crosswind and I guess we're lighting it back because we just keep, we, we got a paddle on the same side of the crosswind. Here on the long paddle, our paddle, I'm a little wore out right now. A long portage from uh, Crooked to Argo. A little buggy. I don't know if they're behind me right now, but every time I stop, they catch up to me to like get over a log or something. So definitely can't stop to take a break. That's for sure. It's definitely a long one, but I can't think about that too much really. Just got to keep moving. I know I feel like I should be halfway through, but I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure I'm only like a quarter. So. Just prefer not to think about it. Just keep going. Hopefully see you all at the other side of this. Very slick rock right here. But the good news, show you all to get past the slick rock. Water. There's water ahead. Made it over one more time. Right, Ben? Yeah. Ben's excited. Ben loves portages. But the bugs are awful, so I'm getting the heck out of here. 
so all those all those wildfires that came through what three years ago probably 2021 2021 it's 2024 so three years ago you can see uh, all this stuff's burned over here but uh, it's you know it's all the new growth is starting to come back so kind of cool to uh to see that process take place all right so we got this few trees this one's the biggest yeah hmm i think maybe if i just oh that actually worked Oh, phew, wasn't sure if I was gonna make that. I might take a quick break. I know there's some slick rocks coming up and I don't want to be the one that hurts themselves. It's worked out. Yeah. yeah. That thing, Dude, as I, bad as I remember. I oh. thought, I always thought the, uh, the Duluth bag was worse than the canoe, the, these light ones. Yeah. But I think what I decided is it just depends which one goes second. So I thought that trip over here sucked. Hey, the big log, I didn't feel like I wanted to step over with the canoe on my back. Well, your canoe's heavier and oh. also floating away. Yeah. Bugs are awful over here. Definitely need to uh, get out here on the lake. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a headwind here. Really? Bunny rabbit up there? Yeah. Huh, that's pretty cool. Whatever just made it to the uh, just made it to the campsite, so we're pretty wore out, but oh, looking forward to get something to eat. Surely we can catch one out here on this point. There's all kinds of good looking stuff out here. That's not good. So when I tied this on, I kind of uh, nicked it on the saw. And I didn't, I just thought, oh, it probably didn't. I looked at the line, it looks fine. I guess it wasn't fine. Or maybe I just did something wrong. My knot definitely didn't break though. So, not the smartest thing I've ever done. First fish of the trip. You know, I think every other trip I've been on, I caught the first fish. Have you? Yeah. I was trying to catch him. I couldn't. I done messed it up. You latched on to him. Yeah. Cute little fella. Oh, yeah. is a giant first fish of the trip this is a good way to get a hook in your hand right there so we might pack a little heavier than most people that come into the quetico probably not a whole lot of people up here uh, eating pork chops but it's good for the first night check it out mac and cheese and pork chops that is a good meal right there We could have trapped him out there on that peninsula. I mean, yeah. you said he saw a grouse. Reese, I think a raccoon. You can probably catch one of them with the hand. <laughs> yeah, it was named Reese. So, guys, going to uh, going to bed on the last night here. Definitely, uh, I know I'm wore out after today. I'm sure everybody else is too, but. Oh, did you get him? Got him. Oh, there's one over here we need to get. We got the, oh, get the, uh, get the, the fly, fly slaughter. That wasn't the one. That's the one I was looking at. Oh. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. There. See him? In the middle of my beam. Yep. 
got to uh, kill all the skeeters in your tent or uh, that's one skeeter bite for the night so but uh, anyway excited for tomorrow to go fishing here in Argo so see y'all tomorrow maybe uh, check out that jump rock too Guys, day two in Quetico. Out here on Argo, gonna go fishing today. It is a beautiful morning, not hardly any wind. I'm sure that'll change this afternoon. It usually does, but then again, it is probably kind of a post cold front, so maybe it will be calm all day. But either way, I think the plan for today, go fishing this morning, and there's a jump rock over here, so we're gonna go uh, think, check that out this afternoon. Should be able to uh, catch a few smallmouth this morning just hopefully we can find a few bigger ones that's what i'm hoping for i'm sure we'll catch plenty of numbers but... oh there's one he ain't great big but it is one anyway first quetico smallie hopefully we find a few that are a little bigger than these ones got a ways up oh wait there we go Oh yeah, see if you look over to the left here, you can see some big old rocks down there. Oh, there's another one with it that's bigger. Aiden, cast over here. Oh, I might have got spooked by the canoe now. Oh yeah, see him down there? Yeah, cast past my line. That was a decent, the other one that was way down there was a decent one. That is a giant. But that's a bass. I don't know what else it would be. It ain't coming up like a bass. It's almost like it's a pike. Is it a pike? I think it might be a pike. Along with me. Oh no! Dude, I think that was a pike. There's not supposed to be pike in here. Two top waters gone. Oh no. I wish I would have caught it just to see what it was for sure. But I mean, I got a pretty good look at it. It looked like a pike. Because the way it, it didn't fight like a bass or nothing, it absolutely annihilated the top water. That was cool, but. Oh, I got two of them. Look at that. Now that. Looks like a great way to get a hook in a hand right there. Two of those little fellas. Yeah, there's a few more following it too. Cast it up there like uh, straight towards those rocks. Get it up there as far as you can. A little bit better one here for Argo. I'm gonna try to keep them in the water as much as we can. Uh, yeah, give them, can you put some more, let some more slack up? I'll uh, push that button. Or actually, I'll just pull it out of the drag. Oh, there he goes. But yeah, I mean, we could have landed that fish if we wanted to. It's awesome, you caught a laker. On the DT20. All right, we were out here trolling for lakers. Aiden just caught one. And uh, I think I got me one. I got something, we'll see what it is. Trying to bring it up slow so they don't, uh, their air bladder doesn't expand. They almost look like pike when they're in the water with their coloration. Oh, not sure. Proper way to grab one. Try to deal with this. Oh, there he goes. I was going to try to hold him up for the camera, but he got away while I was trying to keep him in the water. But either way, yeah. There we go, Aiden. We both caught him. Pancakes and bacon for lunch.
Yeah, it is a lake trout. We're just sitting here on this point. We caught, what, probably 20 bass off this point, and he just hooks a nice lake trout. Oh, that's a big one, too. Dang, look at that thing. That's a good one. Like, we were just sitting here catching bass after bass after bass. All of a sudden, he caught that big old lake trout. It's awesome. They just keep coming off this point here. They're, they're catching them over there. We're catching them. We got this nice one. This lake's kind of incredible. Just catch a lot of little ones, but every now and then yeah. you catch a little bigger one. Up here on the cliff, it's a beautiful lake. Nice calm day. Looks high. <laughs> yeah, I'm good now, but yeah, I first jumped in. No, it's like, it's like really warm. It got me a little bit. It ain't that bad, but. It's a little bit chilly. It's not bad. Swimming with steel toes. The problem toes now weird. We, with steel toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Now we just got to swim back all the way over to where we can uh, get out of the water. You can come up with a name for them. What do you think? Oh. We have a name. Do we? Oh, somebody gave him a name. <laughs> what was that name? Something bear. Snook and bear. Snook and bear. Can we can we name the bunny Snook and bear? Or are you gonna? Zach, you've Looks got about good. a quarter inch on that rock. Looks good. Blueberry cake for dessert. We got some uh, fried bass since we're here on Argo. Hopefully get some uh, walleye tomorrow. Some dried green beans and uh, some noodles. So it's pretty good. Oh, I'm at the bottom or I got one. I might have one. It looks like I got one. I'd say you have one. The big old head shakes on her. And I have gotten a big and hooked up. Oh my gosh, look at the big old head shakes on that thing. Keeps oh, up. I see him. See him? Yeah, what is it? Big old Laker. It looks like a big it's freaking a Big lake. old Laker. Nine pounds? Nine pound Laker? You're about 30 and a half. 30 and a half inches, all right. That is a beaut right there. Yeah. Get this thing back here. So the first video is coming to an end. This is probably gonna end up being like a three or four part video series. Not exactly sure yet, just depends on how all the, how all the footage comes out. But there's a lot more fishing and canoeing to come. I had a blast this whole week. The whole week was awesome. And uh, if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button right here so you don't miss all those future videos coming out. And once that next video is posted, I'll link it right here. Thank you all for watching.